What's up Fredsters? Welcome back to another fun day fishing with Fred. So I woke up this morning to this beautiful overcasted day. And with days, three or four past days that have been over 100 degrees, today is a blessing. So we're gonna take advantage of this because we know that that bite's gonna be on. Because these temperatures, like I said, for the last three or four days have been around 100 degrees. So this dramatic temperature change is gonna, I think it's gonna fire these fish up. So we're out here at this secret spot. And I think today we're gonna have a pretty good chance of catching a pretty big fish. So we're gonna throw some swim baits, some creatures. Mostly focus on the swim baits though, because I want a giant, and today's the day. They're gonna come out, they're gonna eat. A little break in the weather. See you guys when we get there. I don't wanna get spotted. I can't believe I'm so close to these deer, look at them. That's super cool. All right, pressers, I am pumped right now. So we got two setups today, I only brought two rods. We got some fluorocarbon, and we got some braid. Start off with this swim bait real quick. I need to change these hooks. I bent one out the other day, but we don't got time for that right now. Got a pretty good one on this yesterday. Oh, dude, that was craziness. That fish just bit it right here. Crazy. I had a follow, I had three of them follow it in. First cast. One tried to bite it, but he didn't get hooked. All right, so I see a school of fish right here, and the biggest one in the school is probably about three pounds. Looks like the school is like eight. Oh, dude, that was sick. This guy's gonna come eat it again. Here's that this thing. Dude, this fish is so mad at this one day right now. He's gonna come get it right now. Dude, he's so mad at it. These fish do not like this one bait. Time I'm gonna let this thing sink for a while and just slow roll it back in I don't, I don't know if they're not following it in anymore so gotta find some other fish so it seems like they're liking the pops like more aggressive pops every time I seem to pop it more they one follows it in so we're gonna keep doing the slow roll give it a little more aggressive pops I just lost my swim bait. Oh no. I got it back, Frestas. I got it back. But I bent my hook out even more than it already was. So I'm going to retire this bait for now until I put some new hooks on it because I like this swim bait. I don't want to lose a big fish and I don't want to lose it. You guys got the Golden State Glide Bait tied on. This thing, I got confidence in the hooks. It looks amazing. Pretty sure we're going to get bit on it. You guys ain't going to believe me, but I already had a fish on. First cast with this thing. All right, guys, I already got two bites on this thing already. I've only cast it about four times, so pretty sure we're gonna get one here pretty soon. Dude, it's a good fish, dude. Dude, he brought, he brought like five of them with him. Dude, he brought like five fish with him. All right, buddy, I don't want to get poked. Look at that, boys. Gold steak glide bait. Solid fish. Heck yeah, Jacob. It's a solid fish, dude. It's 
a solid one right there. Got him on that glide bait. Dude, whenever I brought this fish in, he brought seriously like six fish in with him. That was wild. Heck yeah, guys. I knew it was going to work. Just had to figure it out a little bit. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I love that clear water. Guys, that was awesome right now. All right, guys, let's put on the pompadour. They're not really chasing the swim bait no more, so I'm thinking we're going to have to cause some noise on the top of the surface, get a big old monster to come up and eat it. So I'm just going to work it next to some of these isolated bushes. Just like throw it out there. And just pop it. See if... Yep. And just pop it and see if that'll work. Because that worked. Oh, he spit it. That was cool, guys. First cast with it, so... Yeah, we're just going to do that. Work next to this isolated cover and just pop it. Dude, that was intense, guys. I, I guess my camera wasn't recording. That was intense. He was way out there in cover. I had to bring him through a tree and everything. It's a solid fish, dude. It's a three-plus pounder right here. Way out there. I had to pull him over some trees and everything. That sucks it wasn't recording. That was a good catch. Dude, thanks, buddy. You crushed that thing. Oh, heck yes, guys. That was so sweet. Dude, I can't believe I didn't have that on camera, man. That was like one of the wildest. One of the wildest catches I've ever had, dude. That was nuts. Alright, I'm super bummed out. Just lost the pompadour. Got it snagged up on a tree. So we're gonna throw the whopper plopper. Guys, that sucks, man. I, I like the pompadour. Looks like I'm just gonna have to get another one now. Get out of that tree, boy. Get out of that tree. Oh, dude, this is a bucket now, dude. This is a bucket now, too, guys. This is a bucket mouth, boys. Dude, heck yes. Hey, chill out. Come on. Dude, this is a bucket mouth right here. Calm down. Dude, this is a straight bucket mouth on the Whopper Plopper. Dude, this is a solid fish right here. This is a big fish, dude, look at this mouth. So this is kilograms, so it's one kilogram, so I'll have to do the weight or the measurements on that when I get home, but I think that's close to three pounds. One kilo, I think, is three pounds, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to do the weight on that later. I wonder if my scale's been like that for a while. Thanks, dude. Heck yes, guys. Heck yeah, it's on the Whopper Plopper. Today is insane. All this cloud cover making today possible. They're willing to come up, hit the surface top water. Oh my god. I lost my pompadour, but that made that made up for that right now. Heck yeah, guys. Let's throw it back out there. Alright guys, I kind of want to move around, but when they're biting like this in one spot, it's kind of hard to do that. So, we're going to continue throwing that Whopper Plopper out there because that was insane. That was a sick bite. So we're just gonna you gotta fix that for sure. That's a dead giveaway right there. Oh no, I didn't lose my whopper pumper too, did I? Come on, buddy. Let's get out of there. My whopper plopper is over there. Dude. First pompadour. Now the whopper plopper. 
You're going on braid now. Next, I don't know, I learned my lesson. Just lost two $20 baits within like 10 casts. Super frustrating. Super, super frustrating. All right, guys, a little check-in. Super frustrated right now, you have no idea. So I lost, uh, I lost a, wa a Whopper Plopper just right now. And then right before that, I lost a Pompadour. And uh, you guys that are up to date on how much those cost, it's a pretty big penny that I just lost right now in 10 cast. So I'm super, super frustrated. Totally my fault because, like I said, I should have been throwing that top water on braid because of all this crazy cover. But no, I kept throwing it on the fluorocarbon. And that's what made me lose those fish right now. If I had it on braid, I'm pretty sure I could have ripped it out of those trees. So, enough with the top water on the fluorocarbon. We're going to put a jig on the fluorocarbon, alright? <laughs> and uh, if we go throw any more top water, we're going to throw it on some braid. Because I do have a, a rod with braid on it, so I don't know why I'm not doing that. But, uh, yeah, put you guys back on the chest mount. See if we can catch another giant. <laughs> Good thing I got some Bear Whopper ploppers in the box. So I'm gonna, I just put on the braid. Learned my lesson already? So we put on the braid. Oh, I should have been doing this in the beginning, but my dumb self. Didn't think it was necessary. But after losing a pompadour and a whopper plopper, I can see my whopper plopper hanging in the tree right now. I decided to finally put it on some, some braided line. And when they're biting top water like this, it's kind of hard to switch. So, we're going to keep throwing this thing. I'm a little more confident now that I got it on some braid. Ooh. Ooh, that fish, like, straight went for it right now. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how that fish did not get hooked right now. That was a big blow up. That was a real big blow up. Solid one on the whopper plopper, guys. They're loving this whopper plopper right now. Just put on a different size since I lost that one. And he liked it. He liked the 110. Thanks for being cool with me, buddy. Another solid one, guys. Today is like straight solid fish only day. I haven't caught one under two pounds today, which is always amazing. Dude, thanks for the bite and the fight. That was awesome. That was an awesome bite fight. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Guys, I can't breathe right now. I'm like going crazy. Today is like awesome. Even though I'm losing lures, this is totally worth it because Oh man, these fish are fighters. Dude, seriously guys, I'm like shaking right now. Why am I choosing the Whopper Plopper and the Pompadour today? Well, first off, we got this overcast, so these fish, they're gonna be willing to come up and get something from the surface. And number two, I wanna get that, uh... I'm aiming for a big fish, so I want, I'm not trying to, be finesse about anything at all. I'm trying to be really loud. See if I can get one of those big ones to come up and get it. So that's why I'm throwing like the Whopper Plopper and the Pompadours because it makes so much commotion. And those big ones are going to come up and check it out and see if they want to eat it. As you guys have been seeing, I haven't really been catching anything small. So it's always a plus. So we're just going to continue fishing with the Whopper Plopper for a little while. We might move around, I don't know. 
I like this spot. Only been here for a couple hours. And uh, had some crazy action so far, so we might just uh might just fish here for a little bit longer and we might move around. I don't know yet. Alright guys, just lost the jig. Nothing new. Losing baits all day. So I got a chatterbait tied on now. I don't even know what we're gonna do next. Probably throw that big swim bait back on. Okay, what bait do I want to lose next? I mean, use next. Let's figure it out. All right, guys, just packed up. So I'm gonna throw a couple more casts with the Whopper Plopper right here. We're gonna go find a new spot. Unless we get bit right now. And then we'll, we'll work it a little bit longer, but. I do want to explore this place a little bit more. All right, just got to the fresh spot. Looks a little more shallow here but uh we'll see if there's any fish going next to this lay down first right here So the reason I'm pausing this thing every now and again is I'm thinking I'm giving a, a fish a chance to catch up to it, study it a little more, and then whenever I move it again, if he's there, he's gonna go. He's gonna go for it, just like that. He's gonna go for it. Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh, sweet guys. So that's why I was pausing it to maybe give them a chance to catch up to it. That seems to be working right now. Straight retrieves working, but not as well as the as a pausing. Thanks, buddy. Okay, guys. So everyone knows that the Whopper Popper is a sweet bait. One thing that I've noticing about it, is whenever I get stuck like that and it's on this rear rear trouble hook hookup, it usually bends it out. The shaft right here gets bent out and then my tail doesn't spin as freely and then I start to it starts to roll instead of plop. So just a little tip for you guys, you might have to bend that out every now and again. Alright, let's move on. One of, them, one of them just went for it right there. He got it again. He got it again. Yo. Oh, it's a big fish, boy. Oh, it's a big fish. Look at that. This fish has another hook in his mouth. Let me get that out there for you. Got the hook out for him. Dude, this is a solid fish right here, dude. Solid fish. Another one on the Golden State Glide Bait. This is definitely a three plus pounder right here. Three three oh for this chunker right here, dude. It's a beautiful fish on that glide bait. So I was working this, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's like a little channel right here. And I always think of those as like highways. Like this bass, he was doing exactly what he was supposed to be doing. He was hanging out on the highway side of him. And like the smaller fish, they use this this shallow right here as like a highway. And the big ones, they just sit on the side of it waiting for that bait to come through. And that's exactly what I did. So he came up, hit that swim bait, and I killed it. And he came back and hit it again. I got through one cast on this side. It's kind of like the same as that, uh, that highway we were talking about over here. So 
whole bunch of followers right here. Nothing big, but it's like four little little bass followers in, so it's telling me it's a good spot. It's holding some fish, so I'm gonna throw it out there again. All right, guys, I had to hide for like 20 minutes right now. I had to hide from the security guard for like 20 minutes right now. He was looking for me. So I came back to the spot we first started at. And I just want to catch probably one more fish. And uh, we're going we're gonna to take off. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Smallest one of the day right there. Oh, dude, that was almost bad. All right, dude. You chill out. Okay. Oh. Got it, buddy? Sorry about that, man. You did it yourself. I didn't mean to do that. He jumped off. Well, there's our last one. But, uh, I don't know. Might stay out here for a little longer, guys. That was only my second cast. Oh my god, two in a row. Two in a row on the Whopper Plopper, boy. Oh, this is a better one. Ooh. Dang it, guys. He spit it right here. Gosh. That was a good one. Oh, man. That was a good one. Oh, God. I don't want to Oh, dude. Quick release on that guy. Sorry about that guy. That's the second fish that uh, rolled down the hill for me. I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. Dude, I wasn't even watching him. I was watching uh, this school of fish come down right in here. And he cracked it right there by the bank. Hopefully the camera picked that up because that was a pretty loud blow up. Alright, Mr. Whopper Popper. You did your job. I'm gonna put you away before I lose you. All right, glad bait time. Let's try to get one more on this and then I'll call it a day. It's a big one right there. Looking at the ground right here. All right, guys. Just lost. Uh, just had a couple bites on the swim bait. I got kind of a kind of a cadence down to what they what they're liking. So it's real, real pause, real, real pause, real, real pause. Usually when I pause it is when I'm getting that bite. Oh my god, he did it again. I just gave myself a freaking blood blister right now. Alright, I don't know how I'm not hooking these fish right now. Alright guys, had a few bites on the swim bait, but I couldn't land any. I don't think I landed one on the swim bait. 
So I just want one more fish for the day. I'm good, so we're gonna throw the whopper pup out there because this is the bait that seems like it's shining today. It seems like every time that sun comes out too, they wanna crush it. Oh, dude. Dude, that guy like, that guy sound like a cannon right now. He says, chicha boom Not in my house, whopper plopper. That's crazy, guys. I was throwing that big swim bait around for about like, 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I got it. <sighs> Sorry, dude. I did not want to get hooked right now. That was so scary, dude. You almost got me good. You almost got me good, you little, little bass. All right. Let's get this one out. Oh man. So that's crazy guys, I was throwing that, that big swim bit around. You know what I mean? And I only got like a couple taps on it. And then as soon as I pick up the Whopper Popper, I get one. This guy's got some awesome, awesome lateral lines on him. Heck yeah, guy. It's a gorgeous fish. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> All right, one more cast. It's hard to leave when they're biting the whopper plopper. Almost got hooked by that guy. That's why I dropped him, so. I didn't do it on purpose. It's a little instinct. Because these whopper plopper hooks are, sh like, they got a huge cage on them, and that would suck. What's up, Fredsters? So I just got done putting this video together. And guys, I've been I've been trying, been grinding, been trying to put out as many videos a week as I can for you guys. And I only want to upload quality content. So it's been tough for me, but I've been trying my best. I think I've got to like three videos a week now. So that's cool. Let's talk about that giveaway real quick. I know I've been mentioning that giveaway, but I'm not ready to give away stuff until I have it in my possession. So I'm waiting for a shipment to come in, and then whenever I do get it, the products or whatever, then we'll make a whole giveaway video, but I don't wanna give something away I don't have yet. Let's just go over this day, send you guys on your way. So we showed up with intentions of using the big swim baits. I honestly didn't know what was gonna happen. I haven't been there in a while, and that place is crazy. So I wanted to use the big swim baits because I felt like I had a good chance to catch a big fish because the conditions were perfect. So we go out there, we get bit, we get bit, we get bit. We lose a few lures, it was an eventful day. But it was awesome to go out there, that clear water, and I seriously learned a few things on every lure that I used. I learned that uh, popping a pompadour next to an isolated tree works. I learned that pausing the whopper plopper while retrieving it works. And I learned that different cadence on the swim bait, different retrieve styles can affect, can can make these fish affect differently. It's crazy. So I definitely learned a lot of stuff today. It was an awesome day. And I just want to thank you guys for joining me. So if you liked the video, just let me know by saying something in the comments about what you liked about it, what I should do for a future video. Hit that thumbs up, guys. If you're new to the channel and you like the video and you want to join the Fishing with Fred family, just hit that little subscribe button right there and hit the bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload a video. Like I said, I've been trying, I've been grinding, I've been trying to post as much good content out as I can. But until then, until my next video, take it easy, have fun, catch fish, see you guys next time.